In today's lab, we're going to go over salmonella. Step one is to enrich your sample. Weigh out 15 grams of onion and add 135 ml of lactose broth. Stomach your enrichment bag at 230 RPM for one minute. Incubate your sample at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Step two is to inoculate your broths. Add 180 microliters of iodine to each tetrathionate tube. Then add 1 ml from each enrichment bag to your tetrathionate tube. Add 1 ml from your enrichment bag to your Rappaport Vasiliadis or RV tube. Inoculate your tetrathionate tubes at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Incubate your RV tubes at 42 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Here are the inoculated tubes. The inoculated tetrathionate tube is on the left and it's the milky white color, and the RV tube, which is blue, is on the right. Step three is to streak your plates. Streak one loopful of the tetrathionate broth onto XLT4 auger.
streak one loop full of the RV broth onto XLT4. Streak one loop full of the tetrathionate broth onto BGS auger. Streak one loop full of the RV broth onto BGS auger. Incubate your plates at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Here is a picture of the inoculated BGS plate. Here is a picture of the inoculated XLT4 plate. Step four is to conduct biochemical testing. Inoculate your lysine iron or LI slant with colonies growing from the BGS auger plate. Repeat inoculation for your triple sugar iron or TSI slant. Then repeat your TSI and LI inoculation using XLT4 colonies. Incubate your TSI tube at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Incubate your LI tube at 37 degrees Celsius for 48 hours. This is one of the inoculated TSI slants. Here's just an alternative view. This is an example of an inoculated LI tube. Here's an alternative view. Step five is to record your results. Still pictures of your results will be uploaded in your Blackboard folder.